Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be fully loading jailbreak in the Fire Stick for movies, TV shows, and all that stuff. The difference between my tutorial and maybe the other tutorials out there, I show you a complete step-by-step -step guide to get you fully loaded. I have all the updated apps, the newest updates, including the players that you need, the media players, to play some of this content in my store. Everything is there, fully loaded, complete guide, okay? So follow this step-by-step -step and you'll get your Fire Stick fully unlocked, okay? And fully loaded. Okay, so I have my Fire Stick here, I'm connected to the internet and I'm signed in, okay? And if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video or rewind the video to go step by step. I'll try to keep it not too fast, not too short, okay? Uh, just right. Okay, so follow the steps along. The first thing you want to do, you want to go to the gear icon and you want to go to my Fire TV or my device it might be called depending which Fire Stick version or Fire TV you use. Click on that. And you'll see I have developer options. You might not have this, but if you do have this developer options, then you're ready to go. If you don't have it, click on the about, and then you'll see the name of your device. For me, it's Fire TV Stick 4K Max. What you want to do is click on it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See how it says no need, you're already a developer? That's great, okay? So if you're not, if you click seven times, if you're not a developer, it'll say, it'll say now you're a developer. That's how we turn on the developer options. You'll need this to install any third-party applications on your Fire Stick. Once you're done that, we're going to hit the home button. And what we're going to do here now is we're going to go and load an application called Downloader. So you can go to the search icon here, find, click down, click into search. And you can use the Alexa voice remote or you can type it in and search for downloader. Downloader. You can also type it in, downloader, like that. Click on the downloader application. And what's that going to do? It's going to come up with this screen, press the download button. It's going to download and install the downloader application. Once we're done, I'll show you the next step. Follow step by step. We'll get you going fully here, okay? When it's done installing, don't open it up yet. We're just going to hit the home button, okay? Now, the sec see the notification here? Now, the second step we need, go back to the find icon and search for an application called IP Vanish. And I'll explain everything in a minute, okay? So IP Vanish, type it in, okay? IP Vanish, like that. What should come up? is a white green logo that says IP Vanish on it. Click on that and click the download application. It's going to queue it, it's going to download and install an IP Vanish application for you, okay? <clears throat> now, what you want to do when it installs, you want to open it up and you want to log in with your own username and password. You can get your own username and password by scanning this barcode somewhere here on the screen with your phone and signing up for an account or going to this bit.ly link or go into the link in the pinned comment description as well or type in that link in. What's that going to do? It's going to take you to their website. You're going to choose a package and sign up. It's a cup of coffee a month. That's how much it costs. Unlimited devices and it gives you full protection and allows you to get into the unlinked store. A lot of ISPs and internet service providers have been blocking the unlinked application, flagging it as a virus, flagging it as malware. It's not. It's an application to allow you to fully load your Fire Stick to put all the third-party apps in and all the applications you need for streaming movies, TV shows, and all this other stuff, okay? But you might not be able to get it if you're not connected to the VPN. You will not be able to download it and install it. Therefore, I recommend using IP Vanish. So pause the video if you need to. Get your account here by scanning the barcode or this bit.ly link here. It's also in the pinned comment description. Once you go to their website, sign up for your account. Once you have that account, all you have to do is verify the email that you get from them by clicking on the verify email and then log in with your own username and password. So I'm going to open it up and once you have your own username and password, log into your VPN. I'll show you quickly how to set this up. I'm going to sign into mine and then I'll show you the options and the settings you should do to get the most out of your streaming, okay? So let me log in. Pause the video if you need to get an account by going to this barcode or going to this bit.ly link here or in the pinned comment description and getting your account. Once you're done with the sign up process, sign in and let's continue the video. I'm going to sign in here and I'm going to show you how to set this up once you have your own account as well, okay? 
Once you sign into your account, it'll look something like this. The first thing you want to do is click into the gear icon here and connect on Android Startup, set that feature, scroll down here, okay? And you got the threat protection here as well if you want to block ads and things like that. I don't recommend it right now because it's not tested with all the streaming apps yet. Uh, you can try it, and if you have issues, you can simply just turn it off. I haven't experimented much with it, but it's a new feature in IPVanish. Leave it off for now, and then connect on Android Startup. Or if you're feeling experimental, you can try this with the apps, okay? So let's make sure connect on Android Startup that's going to connect it every time we start it up, our device, our Fire Stick. Let's go to the Location button, and this is very important. Uh, to get the most content and to get the most links, this is the only way it's going to work if we choose the United States, okay? All the way to the right, United States, click on United States, say, favor the United States. Once you favor the United States, we can click back and you'll see the screen here again. We don't have to click connect yet. We can still click the location again and you'll see we have it in our favorites. Now from here, we can click on the United States and we can say connect to United States. It will pop up with this. We're going to press the OK button. And when we click back, you'll see that it's loading and it's trying to connect to the United States server here. After 15 or 20 seconds or even less, it should connect to the United States server and we're ready to go to the next step. So the next step is we're going to hit the home button here. And we so far got downloader and we got uh, IP vanish running. So once IP vanish is running and we're connected, hit the three dots plus sign. We're going to go to our downloader application like we downloaded in the first step. We're going to press the allow here and we're going to press the OK here. From here, we're going to click up and we're going to click into this field here and we're going to put in the following URL. So we're going to put an unlinked. Let's put that in. Dot link. Let's put that in, unlinked.link. And once we put an unlinked.link, let's press the go button, okay? What's going to happen, it's going to go to the unlinked website now. Since we have our VPN, we're able to connect to this website, so we're able to get the unlinked application. You'll see I can move my cursor around, a red little dot, round dot, I can move it around. And you can see the bar is loading here, and the website will load. And once the website loads, we're simply going to go down and we're going to click on download APK Android. When we click on that thing, the middle of the D-pad, it's going to start downloading our um, unlinked application. Let's say connecting and it's going to start pushing it through and downloading our application. Here it is. VPN is on. Now it's going to try to install it. We're going to run into a little issue. Press the settings and remember the developer options. It's going to throw us back in there. Install unknown apps. We're going to click and we're going to click the downloader and we're going to press it on. Now when we do that, press it on. Now we're going to click twice back here on our Fire Stick remote, the back arrow, once, twice. Going to throw us back into our downloader and now we're going to press the install button here again and it's going to stage the app and then now we can press the install button. So let's do that. Let's press the install button and it's installing the unlinked application. Now it's going to install it. Our VPN is on. We can just simply open it up now. Let's open it up. Now, when you're here on this screen, you can click the new library, okay? Let's click the new library and make sure your VPN is on. It's not going to work. A lot of people have issues even getting into the store without a VPN. So that's available in the pinned comment description, IP Vanish, okay? Now, click into here and enter the code FIRESTICK, okay? Lowercase. So you can see my VPN is on right now and this should work, FIRESTICK, okay? and then press the next button. It's gonna go into the store, you're gonna enter inside of the store, a screen's gonna pop up with some information about the store. Which apps to use, which ones are good, which ones not to use. Read the welcome message, very important, don't enter the store yet, read the welcome message, take out your phone, take a screenshot, uh, and uh, this will help you with which apps you should use, which ones you should not use. This is really a comprehensive, a nice, nice list, okay? Once you're done reading the welcome message, you're going to press enter to enter my store. So let's press enter here. I'm going to enter my store. Okay, once you're in the store, you'll see that there's a few applications here. Uh, I'm in Firestick Tools, but you'll be able to scroll up and down to go to different categories and get all kinds of applications. I got over 
50 apps more and players and everything in my store. Just scroll up and down to get any applications that you wish to get up and down. So for presentation purposes today, I'm doing Fire Stick Tools. I'll show you how to install one application or two. Therefore, you'll know how to install the other ones by scrolling up and down into my categories, movies, TV shows. I have categories here. You can scroll up and down to see those categories and download whichever application you want. So as an example, I'm going to get Task Kill Fire Stick. You press the download. What's going to happen? You're going to see a progress bar downloading the application. When it's finished downloading the application, it will pop up and it will ask you if you'd like to install that application. Okay? So you'll see the progress bar moving here once it starts downloading. Once it finishes downloading, you'll get the opportunity to press the install app. Press it and you'll get an error like this. No worries. Press the OK button. You can see it throws us back into developer options. Go to developer options. Install unknown apps and now downloader was on. Now unlinked, we have to turn that on. Turn it on. Press one back and one more back and one more back. Three times this time. You can see it staged the app and we have the opportunity to install the fast task killer. And it's done. Ready to install. Press the done button. And same thing for IP Vanish. For example, this is just for presentation purposes. You will just click that. You'll see it will download. And after it downloads, it will be the same process to install it. Okay? Very simple to do. So you can scroll up and down in my store and get all the other applications. In literally 10 minutes, you can have probably around 20 or 30 applications on your Fire Stick fully loaded. You can get back to the store at any time. Uh, at any time you want. So I'll show you here the second time around you don't have to turn on those developer options because they're already turned on. So I press install app. I can go directly and press the install button and that would install it right away. That's easy how easy we can do it. So hit the home button and you can see here three plus uh, three squares and plus uh, just to just to kind of wrap up things we installed um, the downloader application We've installed IP Vanish application that we're able to go to get the unlinked application once we connect it to IP Vanish. Then inside of unlinked, we're able to get Fast Task Killer and many other apps that we're able to get from there. You can scroll up and down to see which ones you want. And if you install any apps and they don't show up here on the list, that means Amazon might be blocking those applications. You can simply go in here and you can go to applications and you can go manage installed applications. And they should show up in this list and you can launch them from here as well. Okay. Uh, so that pretty much completes the setup. You can go in here and you can get into my store at any time. Just make sure you're running the VPN when you want to go back into my store. And then you can update all the apps. You can get whatever you want. I've updated this for New Year's. It's all complete and all updated. The freshest app, the newest versions, everything is there. I'll click on IP Vanish and I'll show you that I was fully connected, fully safe, fully protected. Get yourself protected. It's not worth streaming without a VPN. You'll get your GeoBlock sports. You'll get the uh, content. You'll get the movies, TV shows. You're fully protected. You can use IP Vanish. People ask me on unlimited fire sticks, unlimited devices, unlimited phones. One account will get you covered. To get your account, hit scan that barcode here. Go to the bit.ly link in the pinned comment description, get set up. They have great support if you have any issues. And also if you have any issues in, in the store, in the unlinked store, comment below which applications are not working, which ones should be updated, what's working, what's not working. I'll update that for you guys. Also let me know what I would like to see in the store and also let me know if this worked for you. If you're able to jailbreak your fire stick, drop a comment below which city and town you're from, which place you're representing. Uh, just let me know. Uh, where are you from guys? I'd love to hear from you and also very important to be able to update my store and have the motivation to keep doing this like I'm doing for so many years for you guys. Please, please hit the like button that will greatly help me or share my video to your friends and family. Please do that on social media or wherever you can share it, Twitter, social media. I'd highly, highly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support and for being with me here for so long. We're in 2024. We've been doing this so long since 2019. We've been doing fire sticks here, showing you guys different setups and I'll continue doing that. This is the best tutorials you'll find and the best methods that I came up with to fully load your fire stick. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for being here and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.